Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Vernon Kidd here coming to you again, the Honorable Warrior. How's everybody doing out there? Um, I'm going to make this kind of quick because I don't want to talk too much about it because uh, I'm getting together with my team, the YouTubers Core, and we're going to talk about it more. But I just came back, me and my bro, we just came back from finally seeing Man of Steel. It's been out for how long, now? A week, right? Yeah, a week. It's been out a week. So we seen it this week. Finally got to see it. I put it on my Twitter. I said I would after it ended, I will sum it up in one word to describe what I saw. And I gotta say, it was super. Yeah, it was. It was truly a really good movie. Um, I did enjoy it. There were some nitpicks, I will admit, but I'll get into that later if you watch the 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 core video what we're gonna do. But um, personally, this, for a long time, guys, for a long time, for me personally, and for, I should say for my generation, we've always seen Superman as being one man, Christopher Reeves, God rest his soul. And it took us a long time to come to accept that he's gone now and somebody's news taking over the world. And that's been that way with me ever since from from Chris Reeves to Dean Kane to to um, I'm forgetting the actor who uh, played him in Smallville. Uh, Tom, Welling. Tom Welling, thank you very much. And of course uh, uh, I don't see I don't even Brandon remember. Roth. Brandon Roth. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, but other than that, guys, I did enjoy the movie. I thought it was an interesting take of what Schneider and them were trying to do with uh, the origin of Superman. I love the flow of it as well as much as the telling of his origin. Like, they would, bits and pieces, like, for example, you know, Clark would see, like, let's say a school bus. He remembers a time when he was, he used his abilities during the scene with the school bus, you know, I liked how they read, they did the origin like that. And I, I would really recommend some heroes, especially recognizable heroes to, to come off like that. Cause that was really, I really enjoyed that. I love the music. Most of that music was Hans Zimmer. I thought it was fine. I, I had no complaints about it. It, you really, to me personally, I really got real deep into the action. This one was really action-packed. The action really told the story as much as just the, the drama to it as well. You know, of, of basically Clark coming to accept who he is and what he's destined to be, which really told me, which really had me in, invested in the movie. Henry Cavill. Let's, let's talk a little about some of the actors. Henry Cavill, he, he is Superman. Down, down, back, pinpoint, right there. This man now is Superman, and I look to see him more as Superman in the future. Okay? Amy Adams as Lois. Now, there are a lot of people that kind of were a little iffy on her. I've heard talked to a lot of my buddies, and they're like, he's eh, she was kind of iffy. I didn't mind her. I thought she had qualities of the lowest that we that we read in the comics very strong you know bold you know there were scenes where she came off like Lois I like that okay um, Mike Shannon who plays Zod um, he was a good Zod he was now I think now people are gonna start comparing his Zod to Terrence Stamps Zod um, I'm not gonna I probably will do that sometime in the future but um, I thought he was a good Zod. Um, and Russell Crowe as Jarrell. Let me just say this. I know he's not watching, but Mr. Crowe, damn, you did a good job. I fell in love with how his portrayal of, of Jarrell was. He was a scientist, but a warrior. And I like that. He had brains and brawn. So I was really enjoying that. And Zod's uh, companions, like his 
his right hand lieutenant. For Farara. For that was her name, right? Farara, yeah, Farara. Faora. Faora, yeah, that was her name. Yeah, thank you. Malcolm was talking to me. Uh, yeah, she was. Every time she looked at Malcolm, he said her eyes. That's what you gotta look at. She was, she was fantastic. Um, Lawrence Fishburne was, you know, I, you know, you know, guys about me with the whole race changing the characters, and to me, I didn't mind. It was there. It was like okay, Perry White. Okay, oh, Lawrence Fishburne, he's a talented actor. Okay, so it's okay. Kevin Costner was good as Jonathan Kent. And Diane Lane, I can't say nothing bad about her. She always, she's always a, such a well-talented actress, well-rounded. It was really good to see her as Martha. And she did a good job as Martha Kent as well. The movie had what I was looking for, action comedy, drama. It got you emotionally, especially when we saw Jonathan die. That really brought Malcolm, Neely said it, told me, he's like, that nearly brought me to tears. And that really got you emotionally involved in it. So I really enjoyed that. Um, a little different take on the, the Kryptonians where it was really interesting as well. But I definitely enjoyed the movie, guys. I, I, I really did. I I'm glad to see that they gave the Man of Steel another chance. But the question now is who should get more of the credit? Should it be Zack Schneider or Chris Nolan? And I'm hopefully, I hope that it's an equal amount of credit. I don't want people just to say, well, you know, Nolan was behind it. He was producing, so more big ups go to him. Schneider, he just directed it. That don't matter. No. I got the American Steven Spielberg wouldn't be exactly crazy. Exactly. So give them both credit for what they did. Now, if this is supposed to be the start of the DC Cinematic Universe, hell of a start. A hell of a start. Because now, basically, we have established Superman. And Henry Cavell is Superman. He wasn't just a good Superman. He was a good Clark Kent. And every time he was Superman, just the way he he moved or, you know, he, you know, had the pose, like, you know, just standing there like this. And I, I just loved it. I, I loved the interrogations, you know, when him and Lois are talking. I thought that was really fun um, when he was talking to Dr. Hamilton and people like that. You know, once again, guys, I'm going to go more into detail in the, the, the bigger uh, group video, but I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I it was fantastic to me. Um, I do rec recommend to go see it. Um, it's it's for anybody. You don't even have to be the biggest Superman fan, but I guarantee you, you will come out of the movie probably with more respect for the character if you're not a fan of his. Um, that's just the way I look at it. Um, we know there's a sequel coming out, and I'm hoping this movie continues to do well because that's how I'm always looking at movies. Is like as long as the movie gets back the budget that it took to make the movie, that's good for me. Be in a sense because at least it made back the money it the, the studio put up for the movie. So there's a chance that it could be a sequel. And with this movie being, they already talked, already says they're going to be a sequel. Looking forward to it. Now, in terms of who I want to see in the sequel, once again, look for the core group thoughts on it. But other than that, I really enjoyed the movie, guys. Um, it was fun. A uh, lot of, lot of, it, it had me. You could literally say every time Clark was fighting, and you literally hear me, you could hear me in a crowd going, Come on, Clark. Come on, come on, come on. It, it wasn't as if I was just sitting back and just like, yeah, you know, no, I was into the movie, so it got me emotionally into it, and I enjoyed it very much, okay? But once again, like I said, this is kind of brief. I hope it's brief. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Nine minutes. Uh, it's brief. It gave my little thoughts on the movie, and uh, you'll, see, you'll hear the more thoughts of it. You'll hear more thoughts on it. But now that this movie is down, on to the next movie. 
which I will review. You'll probably see me review uh, Lone Ranger. Definitely got to go see that. I'm a big, you guys know me, I'm a big Pulp Hero fan, so I'm definitely going to check that out. Uh, that's a must-see for me. This was a must-see for me. Um, and Pacific Rim is another must-see for me. So, yeah. But other than that, you guys take care, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of my thoughts on The Man of Steel. Okay? But other than that, I'll take care.